Never Stop Learning, week 271. We're going to take a quick look at Make With Mesh in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. All right, so a couple weeks back, I was showing you different ways to warp outline text. So I figured I'd show you another way to work. Today, we're going to be using Make With Mesh, which is inside of Envelope Distort. With my direct selection tool activated, I'm just going to click and drag and make a selection of my artwork. Now, I'm going to be using outline text, but it doesn't have to be outline text for you to use this feature. As long as you got some basic vectors, you'll be good to go. All right, so with my selection, I'm going to jump into the object menu at the top, find envelope distort, and then choose make with mesh. Notice there's a keyboard shortcut of command option M. All right, so I'm going to click on that. That's going to bring up envelope mesh. Here I've got four rows, four columns, and if I click on preview, I can actually see what I'm doing. Now it's talking about these different rows and columns you see here, which are gonna give you more edit points or anchor points for you to edit this mesh. All right, so I'm gonna click OK. Now I still have my direct selection tool activated. I'm gonna select some anchor points and then just do a quick click and drag to make an edit over here to my text. All right, so again, I'm gonna show you what I just did, but I'm gonna do a little bit slower. All right, with my direct selection tool activated, I'm going to click and drag. Notice I got this little marquee building up here. I'm going to surround all my anchor points and then release. All right, now that I've got all these guys targeted, it doesn't matter which one I grab, but I'm going to grab one, click and drag up. And once I got it set up how I want, I'm going to release. And there you go. Now I got this really cool wave going on here. All right, different ways to work is while you have this guy targeted, you can grab a square, click and drag down. All right, I'll grab this guy, click and drag down. You start getting some more organic looks. You could also target different anchor points, like right here in the center. I'm going to click once. Now this guy's targeted. You can tell it's targeted because it's filled in red. The other ones are hollow. All right, so I'm going to click and drag and reposition it wherever I want inside of my mesh. All right, so it's just a quick way to make your vectors act like they're not vectors. It's more like liquid. All right, so I'm ready to reset this document. So I'm going to hit Command Option Z, choose Revert. It's going to bring it back to how it was the last time I saved it. I'm going to make a quick selection. And do you guys remember the keyboard shortcut? It's Command Option M. All right, that's going to bring up Envelope Mesh. I'm going to go with one row, one column, and click OK. All right, I really simplified things here to make it easy on me. All right, so over here on the top left, I'm going to target this anchor point to expose this bezier handle. Click and drag. All right, over here on the right, click and drag, bring this guy up. So I only had to edit these two bezier handles to get this really cool arc going along the top. So I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. So click once, and that's going to expose this bezier handle. Click and drag, bring this up. There you go. Now, if you don't have anything selected, like right now, I'm going to click and drag using my direct selection tool, and then release. All right, so that activated this anchor point. Now I have access to this Bezier handle. I'm gonna click and drag up and release. And there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at Make With Mesh in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.